They say it's a great day to jump out of a perfectly good aeroplane. I'm no double O, but I'll give it a go. Welcome friends, welcome friends, welcome one and all. Blair Ballard here for The Bond Vivant. I hope you're all in fine form. Now, when it comes to birthday and Christmas presents, my other half, Rachel, well, she is incredible. She pulls out all the stops to try and weave in some Bond-related prop or gadget or another piece of uh, clothing for my wardrobe for me to open on Christmas morning, in my Christmas stocking, or for me to unwrap on my birthday. In the past, she's taken me across to New York to see Daniel Craig and Hugh Jackman in A Steady Rain on Broadway, which was amazing. But this last birthday, she just upped it one more notch. She said to me in the morning, for James Bond, jumping out of a plane, that's pretty Bondian, isn't it? I went, absolutely. Look at uh, Timothy Dalton uh, jumping out of the plane with the two other double O agents in The Living Daylights or jumping off a plane in License to Kill or Pierce Brosnan doing the high altitude, low opening halo jump in one of his films. She said, yes, yes, yes. But what about jumping out of a plane without a parachute? That's even more Bondian, isn't it? I went, well, of course. I mean, uh, Daniel Craig jumping out of the plane in Quantum of Solace, that was incredible. And then you've got obviously Pierce Brosnan doing the opposite, jumping into a plane without a parachute in Goldeneye. But of course, the granddaddy of them all is Roger Moore being pushed out of the plane without a parachute in Moonraker. That was just James Bond to the 10th degree. So she said, well, how about you jump out of a plane without a parachute? I went, go on. And she went, well, look, technically you're not wearing the parachute. And so it is, dear friends. Our story begins early one Sunday morning. Right, we're in the car now. It's about five to seven in the morning on Sunday morning. We're up at the crack of dawn to be ready for the jump this morning. The weather forecast is supposed to be okay. Um, we tried this uh, last, last year at the same sort of time and unfortunately we got the weather closed in and we couldn't jump. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this time we can do it. We're obviously in the height of the pandemic as well, so it's all gonna be a bit very, well, very strange indeed with PPE and uh, other little measures they're having to put in place. But I know what to expect there, so I'm not nearly as apprehensive about jumping this morning. But I've got the first jump of the day, so hopefully we should get the jump in. But we're on the way to Old Sarum Airfield now, which is about a 40 minute drive from the house. So, the, the clock has begun. I'm getting it. This guy was in, uh, you know, uh, the world's not enough. It's one of the Parahawks. Oh, pilots. brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic. That's a long time ago now. <laughs> well, you're looking very good for it. There's a lot of water under the bridge. <laughs> but I was filming in Chamonix, you were saying, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how cool was that? Did you get to meet Brosnan or was he here? No, was it the second unit? That, 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 we were the second unit. Yeah. All we saw was uh, stunt double. So we've arrived at Old Sarum Air Airfield. I've got my kit on now, ready for the jump. There's a fine drizzle in the air, but the wind hopefully is going to be blowing it away, so we'll be going up soon. We'll be going up in the plane over there, up to 15,000 feet, and we'll have about a minute of free fall, accelerating to about 125 miles an hour. It's about three miles up. And then the chute deploys at 5,000 feet, and we can glide elegantly back down to Earth. Well, that's the plan anyway. Hiya. Hiya. 
bumpy hole for you. Brilliant. Oh, wow. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations. Thanks so much guys, that was absolutely yes. amazing. The Bond Vivar, that's what you gotta what you gotta do. Oh wicked. That was absolutely amazing. Oh the sun, sun clouds, it was all just beautiful. Thanks so much. Yay! 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 Amazing, absolutely amazing. I mean, it's beautiful up there. It's so sunny. The clouds just go, it's like, oh, it's absolutely you're beautiful. You're making me jealous. 16 years old, you're yes. both going to do that. No. It's just so cool. No. Anyway, look at this. Yes. Yes, wait. Oh, no. The Bond Vivant. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, no. Lovely job. So there you have it. Blair jumps out of a plane without a parachute and lives to tell the tale. I just want to say, a huge thanks to all the guys at Go Skydive, but in particular Ryan, who I jumped with, and Roman as well, who took those amazing shots on the way down as well. Great guys, and these guys do it for a living. What an incredible job. I strongly urge all of, all of you to give it a go at some point in your lives, just to tick that box off your bucket list, if for anything else. But you truly feel Bondian doing it. Now, if you've liked this video, please hit that like and that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you'll be alerted the next time another video drops. I'd like to leave the last words to me, though. This has been Blair Ballard for the Bond Vivant, Bond, yes. a Bond. Farewell. I want to get back up there now. <laughs>